The bell rings, are you ready, are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head, who's going to walk? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, are you ready to settle the score? Hey, hey, welcome in to Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Knows, joined as always by the one and only Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Thanks, Matt. I was just um, adding a couple more context clues uh, because I realized I hadn't actually um, added any to your list so far today because I'm, I was running late from work and, you know, blah, 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 blah. I barely got time to sit down at the piano, but it does bring me on to... Uh, our Patreon tier out of context, which sure. is where we reach out to you guys and, and give you a list of movies and you put some clues in and people have started already. And it's, um, it's really fun to see those clues coming in. So, uh, that's my plea. I, sometimes I don't get time for these clues and, and Matt, Matt is a busy guy too. So yeah, we need your clues. So come over to Patreon and discord and, and get that stuff done. Um, but yeah, I did, I did add a couple just as the titles are rolling there. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> We already have, you know, quite a few for each, so we weren't in need. So that's 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 good at least. But yeah, uh, Patreon. There's uh, that tier, and there's the Discord tier where you can join us. And anybody, if they want to, there's a general discussion chat that's open to the public because uh, I think that's the forum we'd like to to use as our town hall, hmm. so to speak. Uh, just because I'm not a fan of Facebook, and I don't want to to join Facebook and there's no really other conduit to do that. So it's in the uh, description below and you can join us on discord down there and uh, you can in engage in the general chat. And then there's a bunch of text channels that are for patrons only that'll, if you're just general joining the general, they'll be locked from you and you can't see them, but mm. the patrons it's open there. And the, we got all kinds of uh, stuff for the suggestions for uh, movies and, uh, you know, music that we haven't thought of or. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. People. Yeah. Some of the, lists of uh, movies and songs that we hadn't even thought of yet um, yeah there's already two or three you're like oh yeah that's i totally forgot about that one yeah that's really um, cool which we'll probably end up using one or two of those in the very near future yeah um yeah so please yeah keep them coming there's that there's the scornament we're doing Scornament. that and yeah uh all kinds of other benefits and uh the patreon link is in the description below as well so please come join us you join today you can uh, have access to all the different tiers uh, we haven't done the drawing for the scornament yet, so technically that's uh, still on the board as well as the backstage passes. Um, and then the, we are still going to be doing a fan show. That is not going to go away. So if you want to participate in the fan show, just retweet the tweet that I put out or leave a comment on the YouTube uh, video at youtube.com forward slash Matt Nost, and we'll draw two names at random when it comes around for the next fan show. And uh, we didn't want to take that away from people because there are some that, that can't, you know, uh, donate or support the show, but that's their way of showing uh, support. So we'd still like to say thanks for that. Um, all right. You ready to start today's show? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Bring him in. All right. Uh, first gentleman coming in. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen him, but he seems to be in fine fiddle. Um, he has a new short film out on Amazon prime that you can go and buy or rent called timestamp. And he's also one of the trio from first cut. Please help us. Welcome. RB3, Mr. Robert Butler the Third. How hey, are you, it was, sir? Yeah, it was good. Thanks for having me, y'all. I missed the show. I, you know, I came on one time, competed a little bit, or and then you know, I, I wanted to. I needed to be back in the arena, step back in, put my musical <laughs> skills to the test. Oh, look, I'm glad we could finally uh, figure out a time that worked. Um, <coughs> yeah. Had a yeah, little uh, schedule juggling. You're a busy, you know, man. What do you got? Like seven jobs right now? It's impressive. <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I had time for like two more. That'd be that really good, you know. And timestamp is out on Amazon uh, Prime. Can they find it anywhere else, or you're just directing people to Amazon? Uh, just uh, yeah, for yeah, for right now it's on Amazon Prime um, Video. So if you get, you know, it's only it's only um, two dollars to rent and five dollars to own. So you know, if you you know skip a cup of coffee for a day and want to see a good short film, uh, this is it. So it's, it's a good time. It's Jay Washington. Isn't it from the, you know, from our, from our, you know, Twitter yeah. world, you know, community. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good time. Ken Knapsack, I forgot. Ken Knapsack is like the main star in it. So uh, oh, sure. definitely make sure to check it out. Uh, well, uh, if 
you want to send me a link, I will add it to the description of the show so people can just click on it. Go over there. Please find it. Support them on Amazon. And your competitor today is one of the other trio of First Cut. And might I say, TikTok's newest star. Hmm. So f- search for the First Cut on TikTok. So please help us welcome back to the show, Andres, a.k.a. Ace Cabrera. Yo, yeah, TikTok. Back when I was like, I'm never getting on this app. And then now I'm like, crap, I'm addicted. Damn hey. it. it is addicting. They do have a good yeah. formula over there. They do. Um, yeah. Is it uh, just search and first cut? They can find it. Yeah. For, uh, first cut TMO. TMO. Um, okay. Yeah. But first cut on TikTok. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Doing my, doing my best. But I finally got a little bit of traction last week with a uh, house of the dragon i'm like yeah. the house of the dragon guy on tiktok so go check me out there i guess listen Max. it's a good it's a good niche to have yeah i guess so <laughs> after your first like four videos of house of the dragon should we recast you as me and then i'll, I'll play you for the rest of the videos <laughs> i mean like at house this of- point you might as well <laughs> i i barely show my face in my videos so. oh i see there you go <laughs> house, if anyone who hasn't caught house of the dragon yet that was a reference to their casting uh switch up yeah. they did that right yeah they yeah did, it's already yeah. happened on the show uh for those up to date although yeah. i didn't know it existed because i don't look into any of that stuff i just want to experience things as they happen and somebody i know is like oh yeah this this happens in next week's episode it's like oh thanks for that i appreciate it i had no yeah. idea Wait, it's not a big deal it doesn't spoil anything yeah but uh all right first time to- first cut tmo on tiktok the House of Dragons guy, right? We got him. We got him. Yeah. I don't know where else. <laughs> Fire and blood in the background. Uh, and how, Robert, how often are you on the channel? Um, the TikTok I'm, channel? Uh, I, I mean, I'll be on there sometimes. <laughs> we haven't had a lot of time to record lately. But uh, yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be, I, I'm a casual viewer and commenter, so you can see me in the comments. Like, <laughs> on a lot of our, <laughs> our TikToks, for sure. Um, well, you know what? I will say this. There may or may not be a TikTok at the end of the NBA season when I'm dunking <laughs> on you at dinner on our off camera bet. Just so you know, we'll invite Ace out and we will, you know, record something. Whoever gets dunked on, basically. Yeah. It's <laughs> listen, I, I listen, I will listen. I, I will be I will be happily dunked on if we at the very at the if the Lakers at the very least make the plan. At the, if, if if at the very least we get there. But listen, I, I, I anticipate Fifth seed minimum. Fifth seed minimum. So got all the faith in the world. God bless you. There we go. I'll be uh, three. Uh, what's that? What's that thing? Oh, sorry. My, this is uh, it's a this teddy is bear. A, it's a teddy bear and that resembles oh, that Kanye? Kanye West. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's oh, the Good amazing. Morning graduation. I actually, have, I actually have two of them. Actually. Oh, so oh was that my twisted yeah. dark fantasy or my dark? Yeah, no, gra- that's a graduation, right? Well, this one's graduation. This one's my beautiful twisted. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're both yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. R.I.P. I, I, I had I had the feeling that between rounds it. between rounds they'd be getting closer and closer to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just slowly creeping in. Um, all right, gentlemen, are we ready to begin today's game? Ready. Ready. All right, let's do it. Let's start round one. Um, all right, Andres, you will have a uh, first choice in this opening round. The way it works is once you make your selection, I will give a clue and Andy will begin playing. When either of you think you know the answer, buzz in with your name. I'll call on you and you're guessing the movie itself. So don't worry about the name of the song. Just focus on what movie this is from and the clue should point you there. Then there's a bonus question worth five points, but we'll get to the rules of the bonus question when we come to it. So, Mr. Cabrera, one through five, where would you like to start today's show? Let's go three. All right. Three it is. Your clue is shine like the sun. Shine like the sun. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. Now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. 
c'est la vie, c'est the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. Nothing? All right, I can give a second clue. Yes. All right. First one was shine like the sun. The second is shot to the heart. Back to the Future 3? Uh, incorrect. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Make sure you buzz in with your name. That way I can. My bad. Sorry. Don't worry about it. It is not Back to the Future 3. It's a good guess, though. Shine yeah. like the sun and shot to the heart. Andres, you got anything? Uh, man, I'm trying to think of like, man, is it 310 to Yuma? <laughs> it is not 310 to Yuma. Uh, I'll give one more clue. See if this jar is anything loose. First one was shine like the sun. Second one was shot to the heart. Third one is diners, drive-bys, and revives. Oh, Pulp Fiction. Ace, Pulp Fiction? That is correct for 10 points. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking Kill Bill for some reason. Uh, <laughs> and then I was like, all right, let me let me keep going on the Tarantino track. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, you eventually got there, but yeah, yeah, it's the dancing scene when they're in the diner. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right, so 10 points to Ace. Bonus question time. So you have a choice, Ace. Some of these are easy and some of these are hard. It's worth five points. You can choose to go it alone, but if you get it wrong, you'll lose five points. Otherwise, you can open it up to you and Robert. No one will lose any points. But uh, Robert, if he gets it right, we'll cut into your 10 to nothing lead. So my question to you is, do you want to be a dick or not? So if he gets it right, he will he won't steal my lead, but he'll get five points. He'll right? get five points, yeah. Got it. Then that's fine. You... I'll open it up. Okay. All right. <laughs> open to both of you. Here is your bonus question. Buzz in with your name if you think you have it. What is the burger chain mentioned in the briefcase scene? Robert. Robert. Um, Vic Huna Burgers. That is correct for five points. Yeah, boy. That's a Don't good fucking them. burger. Oh, um, damn all right, so I just, I do just you have a plushie of a burger that you're going to pull nah, out from the other side? I, I wish. I had. I have my wallet that has the bad mother F oh. on there. Yeah, yeah. I wish it's I, fine. I you can say motherfucker. It. It's, it's fine. Oh, okay, okay. We're cursing here. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Uh, all right. Makes it 10 to 5. Andres is in the lead. But, Andres, you still have control of the board since you got the music question right. So, one, two, four, or five. Where are we going next? Let's go two. All right. Number two, it is. Your clue is seeking asylum. Seeking asylum. Mm. Underneath the bridge. Robert, Robert, the Batman. That is correct for 10 points. Oh, damn. That was quick, man. <laughs> I love that song. I know. Um, all right. Robert is up 15 to 10 right now. Bonus question time. Do you want to be a dick or not? Uh, no, nah, I'm going to open it up. Keep it open. All right. Fair enough. Uh, probably smart. Here's your bonus question. The Batman is the third longest comic book movie ever made. What is its runtime? And I'll give it to you if you're within seven minutes. Ace. Ace. Two hours and 45 minutes. Right. Uh, that is that is incorrect. Wow. Oh, shoot. Okay, Robert, three hours. Uh, Three hours. That is correct. Really? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it, it is two hours and 55 minutes. Oh, dang. dang. So you had you guessed one hour and yeah. 47 minutes, you would have. Or 50, yeah. Uh... Yeah, one, two hours and 50 minutes. 
I would. That's funny too, because I would have guessed two forty-five. Like that would have been my guess, but yeah, not three. So yeah, two fifty-five is its official runtime. Damn. Yeah. I forgot how long it was. Close, close. It's a long movie. That third act in Madison Square Garden doesn't yeah. need to be there. Mm. <laughs> doesn't hurt the movie, but does it need to be there? Probably not. <laughs> um, all right, RB3, you now have 20 points. And Andres, you've got 10. But Robert, you have control of the board since you got the music question right. Mm-hmm. We have numbers one, four, and five. Where do you want to go next? Uh, let's go for five. Where, where my lucky uh, Lakers are going to be sitting them this season <laughs> all right five it is your clue is round and round we go round and round we go we belong to the light we belong to the thunder we belong to the sound You want a second clue? Yeah. I mean, a right. second clue. Andy has a wonderful voice. Jesus. Oh, thanks, man. It's captivated. Um, all right. So first one is round and round we go. Your second clue is feral like a cat. Feral like a cat. Round and round we go. Feral like a cat. Uh, Ace. 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 Is this Talladega Nights? That is Talladega Nights. (sighs) What? Oh, Oh, dang. Damn. (laughs) That's when they run to the, at the very end to cross the finish line. That's what they're playing for the entire Ah. long extended scene. And they're doing the slow-mo run. We will all da da da. Yeah. That's Damn. right. That's right. That's right. Uh, all right. It's all tied up at 20 points apiece. Ace, bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? No, I'll open it up again. All right. Uh, here's your bonus question. Buzz in with your name. What two actors play Ricky Bobby's parents? I, I don't know. I don't think I know this either. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to guess. <laughs> I don't know Another. if I remember this. Okay. Uh, then I will just go ahead and give the answer if nobody wants to guess. Yes, okay. please. Fair enough. Uh, Jane Lynch <laughs> plays his mom. Ah. And Gary Cole plays his dad. Ah, dang. Dang. I was going to guess Idris Alba. <laughs> 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 Michael Clark Duncan is in it. I don't know where he just comes in. Ah, uh, uh, that would yeah, that wasn't a guess. Too, he plays shit. his pit boss, yeah, or his pit, <laughs> pit crew chief. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Um, all right, so Ace, you got the points on that. We have number one and number four, and it's all tied up at twenty right now. Where do you want to go? Let's go four. All right, four. It is. Your clue is. It's the lie that burns. It's the lie that burns. Robert. Robert. Fight Club. That is correct for 10 points. Damn. Sorry. Killing (laughs) me. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just too fucking quick, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't uh, get to hear Andy sing it. I was, I was saying sorry. I can hit it. Rip some chords and, right now. Uh, listen, if if Andy wants to give us a little bit, I I got no problem with that. It's a great song. Yeah. Song. Uh, yeah. Let's see. With your feet in the air and your head on the ground, try this trick and spin it. Um, <laughs> fire indeed. It's crazy. I've heard that song in a commercial before, and every time I hear it, I'm just like, "Why are they playing the Fight Club song?" 
Yeah, I don't know. Commercial. Especially an anti-capitalist sentiment in that scene where they're destroying the credit card companies to yeah. evaporate people's debt. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, all right, so it's 30 to 20 in RB3's favor. Uh, bonus question time. What do you want to do? Uh, let's keep let's open it up. Let's stay, let's keep it open. All right, we're keeping it open. Here's your bonus question. Director David Venture and Brad Pitt have worked together on what three films? Oh, Robert. Robert. Um, Fight Club, Seven, and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. That's correct for five points. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's 35 to 20 right now. We have one question left in this opening round. Your clue is it's my forte it's my forte take these broken wings and learn to fly again learn to live so free when we hear the voices sing look all up will open up let us in. You guys want another clue? Yeah. Okay. First one was It's My Forte. Your second clue is Calm Like a Bomb. It's My Forte and Calm Like a Bomb. I mean, I know this ain't right, but. Uh, Robert, I'm just going to guess uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. That is incorrect. That Dang. is not right. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the Lakers ended up top five, that is incorrect. <laughs> uh, Ace, you want to make a guess? Otherwise, I can give a third clue, but then Robert can guess again, so kind of might as well take a swing. Um. Okay. It's my forte and calm like a bomb. <sighs> MacGruber? That is correct for 10 points. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a complete guess. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you got your 10 points. So <laughs> nice guess. How, oh man. I didn't I would never I was just I thinking didn't. calm like a bomb and then the song I don't know every yeah every the time song he, in a bomb <laughs> uh every time he has sex with his dead wife and uh Christian Wig and whatnot this is the song playing in the movie Got so it. they play uh, it a lot how did uh, I keep funny. guessing <laughs> I got the two comedy movies the Talladega Nights and the group hey yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, fiction but fiction is comedy too yeah. And you got the freaking <laughs> dark and gritty movie. Yeah, the Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Um, all right. So it's a five point game right now with RB3 in the lead. Ace, final bonus question. Do you want to be a dick or not? Final time for no. Keeping it open. Friends, the entire first round. God bless <laughs> you both. Mm. That rarely ever happens. All right. Here's a bonus question open to both of you. In MacGruber, what actor plays Colonel Faith? <laughs> Robert uh, Kirk Franklin. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> is incorrect. it Ryan Philippe? Uh, Philippi, I believe, is Philippi? the pronunciation. Uh, yeah. That is also incorrect. Got it. Got it. Uh, it's um, Powers Booth. <clears throat> Powers mm. Booth. Wow, what a name. Oh, it's the, one of the best names in the history of cinema. Right. It is. It's great. Powers Booth. Powers Booth. Awesome. All right. And whether or not it's an homage somehow to John Wilkes Booth, dear God, the ball's on you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there was ever a made up Hollywood name. It's Powers Booth. Uh, all right. That ends round one. RB3 has a five point lead, 35 to 30. Ooh. This is anybody's ball game so let's go ahead and start round two
All right, Ace, since you're in second place, you'll have opening choice one through five. This is the five-second round, so once you make a choice, I will give a clue, and Andy will play a five-second snippet of a song. It could be from anywhere in that song, the opening, middle, and it's his choice entirely. If either of you think you can guess it in that opening 10 seconds, it's worth 10 points. Pardon me, opening five seconds, it's worth 10 points. <clears throat> Otherwise, if we have to play a second five seconds of music, it is only worth five points. And uh, you can only guess once until I tell you you can guess again in this round. Uh, so, Ace, one through five, where would you like to start? Mm, let's go five. All right, five it is. It was good to you last time. Let's see how it does this time. Your clue on number five is a real speed demon. A real speed demon. <clears throat> I'm a shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. A real speed demon. Now you both can, you don't have to guess now. We can go to the second five of music. Oh, wait. So we could both guess here? You you can't. If you guess and Ace decides not to, then all the cards are his to choose. So he can choose to hear the next five and drop the point value down. And then maybe that sparks something and you still can't guess at that point. But you can guess right now if you want. Um, Robert... Um... Mm. Baby driver. Incorrect. Not bad based off the clue, though. Is it Ace? Is it Wayne's World? Also incorrect. Mm. Also incorrect. So what we'll do is we'll play the next five of music, and then I'll give a second clue, making it Got worth it. five points, and then you guys can guess again. So here's the second five of music. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. All right, so your second clue is the Blue Man Group. A real speed demon and the Blue Man Group. I can give you one final clue. Robert? Robert. Kingsman? Incorrect. See. Final clue? <laughs> if I give a third clue, then he can guess again. So if you want to throw out a guess right now, and then I give another one. Okay. And then uh, you both can guess again. What was the second uh, clue again? Um, the, blue a, uh, the Blue Man Group. Is it the Blues Brothers? Incorrect. Mm -mm. All right, I'll give a third and final clue. Actually, Andy, you want to give the third and final clue? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for um, Reanimator. Reanimator. Ace. Ace. Is it Ralph breaks the internet? No, incorrect. Mm -hmm. mm, hold up, speed. This is okay. Farts, because I definitely like. Whoever, whatever the title is, like I'm gonna know it. And I'm gonna be like, yo, this is crazy because, like, I like, I like whatever it is, but I just can't. Ah, man, it's like I don't know. Blue Man Group. Uh, what's that last clue again? Reanimator. Reanimator. Re so it's like bringing somebody back to life. Who's blue gets brought back to life? I don't know. I can't I guess know. again, right? <laughs> you cannot. Okay. Dang! 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 <laughs> dang. Blue, back to life, speed demon. I don't know, man. I'm going with um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I, I'm going. With, no, I'm going with knocked up. I'm going knocked up. Knocked up. That that is not right. So okay. no one will get any points. Ace, you got. Can, can I spark? guess? Go ahead, but I, you're not going to get any it, points. Oh, okay. Is it Shaun of the Dead? No. No. Nah. You know, it, although I, that song is in it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was going to guess Shaun of the Dead like early on. Yeah. I, I should have thought about that. Me, yeah. me too. But Speed Demon is, I was like, Speed Demon wouldn't that's, make sense. That's why I thought too. Yeah. yeah I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, this was one oh, of the ones man. where we have a couple on the show and we're like, I, maybe they've seen him. We're hoping. But uh, mm-hmm. this is Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, <laughs> I haven't seen it. Nah, I haven't seen that. <laughs> okay, we figured you were the right age range for nope. potentially a movie like that, so we threw it on there. <laughs> yep. Man, thank you. I right. appreciate it. That's wow. I should Blue Man, Speed Demon, animated. Yeah. And he was sense. reanimator. He was, yeah, they reanimated him, didn't they? Because of the because everyone complained about how he yeah. looked. Plus, it is a new version of the animation of what already previously existed, so reanimate yeah. works for uh, that as well. All right, good. so no points there. That's fine. It's a five-point game still. Ace, you have control of the board. Five is gone. So one through four, where do you want to go next? How about two? Two it is. Your clue is no hammer. Nailed it. No hammer, nailed it. No hammer, nailed it. Oh, this is a uh, ace, ace, Thor Ragnarok. That is correct for 10 points. Nice job. Oh, what? I was guessing, man, I was going to guess like the sound of music or like, um, you know, like an old movie. Like, man, well, it's okay, from yeah. Willy Wonka. It's Willy Wonka. Wonka. I was going to yeah. guess Willy Wonka. Yeah. Oh, but that's the scene where they, okay, where he goes yep. to the, yep. uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, he goes to meet the grandmaster yeah. and they're playing pure imagination. He's uh, like, ah, he's freaking out. Yeah. That's good. Um, that's good. All right, Ace, you take a five point lead with that 40 to 35. And you have control of the board. You got one, three, or four. Let's go three. All right. Three it is. So as a heads up, this was the other one where we think there's a good chance you've seen it. So I'm just going to throw that out there. So you both are having the same playing field. Got it. Um, so uh, your clue for number three is... When you hit five stars on GTA. When you hit five stars on GTA. Sailing takes me away. Robert. Robert. Free guy. Incorrect. What? Incorrect. Oh, dang. I thought that was show. That's not a bad guess given the clue. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Dang. Hmm. Ace, what do you want to do? You can hear the second five of music. But it'll go down in value, right? It will go down in value. It's a five-point game right now with you in the lead. So I finished the first five. So Ace, is it? I true? did. I, sure. Yes. I don't Definitely. know. I don't know what we do in that. In yeah, that go for it. I mean, he can so. he can ask to hear it again. Oh, Robert, you can't I, guess I, I would, until I tell I you. I would love to hear it again, yes. <laughs> okay. Say. So, Takes me away to where I've always heard it could be. Man. Um. I might have to hear the uh, okay second clue. Yeah. Well, if I give second clue, Robert can guess again. So we'll do. Oh, the second five then? The second five of music, and then you can guess at that yes. point, making it worth five points. But this is still just for Andres. So here's the second five of music. Just a dream in the wind to carry me. And soon I will be free. Sailing. Uh. What do you want to do? I can give another clue, but Robert can guess at that point. I'm going to try and guess, but 
I'm probably gonna be way off. I'm trying to think of a recent movie. I, I don't. Um, is it? The uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Wait, is this, this is the master of stalling for time. Uh, uh, I think I'm out. Okay, you want a second clue then? Yeah. Okay. Your second clue is, and Robert, you can guess again as soon as I finish it. First clue was when you hit five stars on GTA, your second clue is Bay's Anatomy. Bay's Anatomy. Nothing. That did nothing. Um, Robert. Um, Rob, look, before you guess, would you like a third clue? And I'll just go ahead and have Andy read a third clue. Uh, yeah, we should we should go for that third clue. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. The look on both. I like when you started to say Robert, like you felt obligated. I don't want you to just like, guess because you feel obligated. That was such a pain to like, oh, Robert, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> All right, so we'll have Andy give you a third clue. Mm. We took a chance with this one in, in Sonic. We didn't know. Nah, I, I get it. But I'll tell you this much: TikTok kids would love it. So, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't have the slightest clue. <laughs> but right. Andy, go ahead and give him the third clue. Okay, your third clue after uh, when you hit five stars on GTA and Bay's Anatomy is: it's not road rage if you have sirens. It's not road rage if you have sirens. Bay's Anatomy. When you hit five stars on GTA, and it's not road rage when you have sirens. I can't guess, right? Ro no, oh, you both oh. can guess. I got it. Robert, ambulance. That is correct for five points. Oh. Uh, you know, it's crazy. I haven't I've seen, seen that it. I You've seen it. I haven't movie. seen it. I've seen that movie three times, and I just watched it last, like literally last weekend. I, I totally it. forgot. That's the part when, um, um, when um, Jake Gyllenhaal and and old boy were just singing in the car. Okay, now yeah. I remember. Okay, yeah. yeah. Basically and doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ladies yeah, in the dude. background, like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And they're yeah. just crushing yeah. sailing. All right, we figured that you guys might have seen that one. So, I did. Uh, I, I think. Thank you for throwing. I love that movie. That's Our also on Amazon days. Prime. Also on Amazon. Prime. That's also Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're there for timestamps, you might as well just check out Ambulance as well. Yeah, uh, I have not seen it, so. <laughs> our bad. I, I, I don't no, know. RB three saw it, so it's totally cool. All right, so that ties the ball game up at forty points apiece. RB three, you have control of the board. We have numbers one and four left in the second round. Hmm. Go for number one. Number one, it is. Your clue for number one is we come in pieces. We come in pieces. Everything is better when we stick together. Side by side, you and I gonna win forever. Hmm. We come in pieces. Uh, Robert. Robert. Transformers. Incorrect. Ace, what do you want to do? You want to hear the next five of music? I'll, I'll, I'll take a guess. Um, okay. That's a good guess, RB3. I like it. Um, is it Ready Player One? Incorrect. Incorrect. All right, so we'll play the next five of music. And then if mm -hmm. you guys are still stumped, I'll give you a second clue. Back open to both of you. Back open to both of you. Good call. Everything is awesome. Oh. Everything is cool. Buzz in if you know it. Robert. Robert. Uh, the Lego movie. That is correct for five points. 
Um, uh, all right, Robert's got a five point lead, 45 to 40. Yeah. We have Andres, one. I, I'm surprised What's Andres that? didn't hit that one before me, though. Like, I, uh, I for, I could have hear the chorus. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. The, the chorus would have killed it for me, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it's only a five point game, so still anybody's to win right now. You have one left in this second round, so your final question your clue is sick and loving it sick and loving it Duncan Shane darling Duncan Shane Six. Ace. Ace. Phantom Thread. Incorrect. Oh, I like that though. Yeah. I don't, you know, that song obviously isn't as far as I know in Phantom Thread, but he did enjoy being sick in that movie. He did. He did. So <laughs> weird catharsis for him. Uh, RB3, what did it do? You can take a guess now. You can elect to hear the second five of music. Nah, um, what was the um, what was the first clue again? Sick, and loving it. Mm. Joker. Incorrect. Hmm. Incorrect. Um. All right, what do you think we should do here, Andy? Because they pretty much know the song. Yeah. All right, so we'll keep the point value at ten points, and we'll just give you a second clue. Okay. So the first one was sick and loving it. Your second clue is principal antagonist. Principal antagonist. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. The song was Donka Shane. <clears throat> Sick and loving it. Principal antagonist. Um, Robert. And... <laughs> oh, listen to the confidence here. I love it. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. Oh shoot. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Um. No, this is such a bad guess. Uh, inception. <laughs> That is not right. Okay. Ace? Is this uh, 21 jumps? Hmm. That is wrong as well. Okay. Um, Andy, give them a third and final. If they don't get it, then no <laughs> points will be awarded. Final clip. Nothing quite like an afternoon parade. Nothing quite Ace, like that. Is it Fer Ferris Bueller's Day Off? That is correct for 10 points. <sighs> yeah. Dang. That's exactly what it is. Dang. Yeah. When he sings Dunk Shane to the Chicago crowd. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, with that, Ace takes a five point lead, 50 to 45. Jeez. Wow. Although I, I feel like, considering you got to three clues, we should probably just make that one worth five points and just tie this ball game up. I don't. Uh, <laughs> But I agreed to keeping it at 10. So, Ace, you got 50 points. Robert, you have 45. And let's begin round three. All right. So, this is the final round. This is our betting round. So, Andres, you will have choice, one through five. Once you make your selection, I will give a clue. And you will open the bidding with the number of notes that you can guess this movie in. You're always guessing the movie itself. Um, once you make your selection, whatever it is, four notes is the minimum. The max is how many of her or however many you'd like it to be. Uh, then we'll go over to Robert and you can underbid him or tell him to settle the score. But we go back and forth until one of you tells the other to settle the score. If you get it wrong, 
your opponent automatically gets those points. And at eight notes and up, it's worth 10 points. At four notes up, at four notes and up, it's worth 15. Two notes and up, it's worth 20. And zero notes and up, it's worth 25 points. We can bid down into negative if you someone thinks they know the movie just based on the clue, but we'll give you the rules of that if it comes up. No point in getting into it now. <laughs> it's like one out of ten shows that comes up. Right. Um, you do have a lifeline that you can use once to ask for a second clue. And then lastly, if your opponent gets the question wrong and say it's worth ten points and you think you know the answer, instead of just taking the ten points, you can double down and you get it right, you get 20 points. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. And you only have one of those as well. Uh, and we've, we've had that swing games where people are down by huge sums. Ace is one of those individuals yeah, that doubled that down. Was me. Yeah. Oh, was it a 25 pointer that you doubled yeah. down on? Yeah. 50 points, he ends up winning the game. Jeez. So it does, it does happen. It comes up. Um, but Andres, uh, you have a uh, choice, one through five. And if any of that doesn't make any sense or you need a clarification, please just let me know. I'm happy to explain again. Uh, but one through five, where would you want to start? Let's do number two. All right, number two it is. Your clue is... I see... Well, actually, we'll, we'll change it now. Uh, your clue is outrunning the coverage. Outrunning the coverage. Um, so, Andres, how many notes do you want to st start the bidding with? Four is the minimum. The max is how many ever you'd like it to be. However, let's do however, 10. 10. All right. RB3, over to you. You can bid nine notes all the way down to zero, or you can go ahead and tell him to settle the score. I'm going to go ahead and... Um... <clears throat> Let me go ahead and bet a strong eight. Eight notes. All right. Ace, back over to you. Seven. Seven. RB3. Right. Let's take our way down to four, man. Four. Not messing around. Uh, Ace. Three. Three. Oh, okay. All right. All you're going right. to have to sell the score on that one, buddy. <laughs> We're 20 points. Three notes. Your clue again is outrunning the coverage, and you do have your lifeline if you want a second clue. So we're twenty points. Here are your three notes. What do you want to do, Ace? You want to hear that again? Yeah, I'll hear it again. Okay. Am I am I allowed to guess? You are not allowed to guess, Robert. You told him to settle the score, so it's entirely on him. Oh, freak. Well, if he gets it wrong, you can double Can I down. use that clue already? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can use your clue. All right, so your one and only context clue. Your first one was outrunning the coverage. Andy will give you your second one. Here it is now. Okay, your second clue is just waiting on the bus. Just waiting on the bus. Is it speed? That is incorrect. So no, I can, our, right. you can double down on this. You automatically get 20 points, but you can double down and turn this into 40. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. All right, I'm doubling down. It's Forrest Gump. It is Forrest Gump for 40 points. RB3 opens up a huge lead. Oh, sorry, bro. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing like saying sorry with a massive smile on your face. I, no. I apologize. <laughs> I feel awful. I feel yeah. awful. Off taking that lead like that. <laughs> oh, that was... This is how the Suns did, did, did the Lakers in the playoffs a couple years ago. So <laughs> I, I, I can't forget that. Oh, well, RB3 gets the successful double down. That was your only one. So that is, but is for 40 points. It makes it a 35 point game in RB3's favor. 
And Robert, you now have control of the board. You select where we're going next. We got one, three, four, and five. Go with three, RB3, you know. Done and done. All right, three it is. Your clue is you only live twice. Mm. You only live twice. Okay, so, I'm Robert, how many notes do you want to start with? Four is the minimum. The max is whatever you'd like it to be. I'm going to go with uh, full, uh, full, th- uh, full 24 notes on this one. 24 notes. All right. Ace, back over yeah. to you. 15. 15. RB3. 15. That's a big strike down, man. Um, let's see. I'm going 12. Let's go 12. 12. Andres. 10. 10. 10. All right. I'm going back down to eight. You know, Eight. Yeah. Going back to seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go ahead. Let me, let, me, let me settle down at five for where my leg is going to be sitting at. <laughs> Should have stayed at seven or eight, you know, maybe even nine. <laughs> All right, but we're at five. Andres, what do you want to do? I want to keep going. Let's go four. Four. Okay. Um, all right. I'll, I'll go. We'll, we'll go again for three. I'm gonna go for three. He three did last time. Yeah. All right. It's worth twenty points. Let's go two. <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to settle this one again, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to settle All this right. on two notes. Andres, you don't have a lifeline, so you get two notes. Your clue again is you only live twice. Here are your two notes. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is rough. Sounds just like it. It does. Uh, I'll agree to that, yeah. But I know where it goes, so it's easier yeah. to visualize. Your clue again is you only live twice. You can hear it again if you like. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Might help a little. No time to die? Sadly, that is not right. That is incorrect. So, RB3, you do not have a double down, so you automatically get the 20 points. You want to play more, Andy? See if they can get it? Yeah. So Damn, I'm out. burying myself alive. <laughs> no. A little bit. There's, there's still time. You do have your double down. So you can take advantage of that. But you're down by 55 right now. <laughs> Don't forget, you're. The, I think the only person that's ever doubled a 25-pointer on this game. So mm. there is that. But you don't have your lifeline. Anyway, um, RB3, you got the points on that, which means you have choice. Numbers one, four, or five. Where do you want to go? Let's go for four. Four it is. Your clue is enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. Mm, Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wager. I'm going to go big on this one. 32 notes. 32, 32 notes. notes. Yeah. The late, the, the great Magic Johnson right here. Right. Uh, 24. 24. 24. Just Kobe'd you. Yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's I a good one. Right. So let me, let me go LeBron and get 23 real quick. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Peyton Manning, 18. <laughs> I can't think of an 18. All right. Well, I, I'm going back to Kobe. Go, let's go all the way down to eight. Down to eight. eight. Says enough of this messing around. Yeah. If we're doing jersey numbers, KD seven. So <laughs> here we go. Um, yeah, all right then. Um <clears throat> I gotta go CP three. So whoa, whoa, three? right down to three. It's worth right. twenty points. Settle the score. <laughs> Damn. I gotta come back somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not a bad tactic. Uh Robert, you do have your lifeline if you want a second clue. 
But your first clue was Enter Sandman. Here are your three notes. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know. <laughs> you want to hear it again? Yeah, I might need to hear that one more time. Yeah. And then my my lifeline is that I get to ask for another clue. Yep, you can ask for a second clue. Okay. You want to use it? Yes. Okay. Andy will give you your second clue. Your first one was Enter Sandman. <clears throat> okay. Your second clue is Arabian Whites. Arabian Whites. Oh, um, is this Prince of e- Prince of Persia? It is not Prince of Persia. Ooh. No points. So, yeah. Ace, you can take the twenty points. Or you can do the double down. Right now you're down by 55. And after this, there are two questions left. Mm. So if you don't think you know it, there's time to make it up. But it's your choice. If you want to double down, this would be worth 40 points if you got it right. If I double down and I miss it, I won't get get the 20? You won't get the 20. (laughs) I'll I'll take the 20 then. I'll take Take the 20. All right. Yeah. little gamesmanship. Good, Cuts it to a 35 point game with two questions left. Oh, Dune. Oh. You're in the right ballpark, though. Ish. Yeah. It's the theme from Mummy, The Mummy. Oh, ah, oh. okay. Yes, yes, it is. Ara- so, Ara- Ara- Arabian whites. That's funny. Arabian that's whites good. and Inter Sandman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's both good. Um. <clears throat> all right. So, Andres, you got the points on that, which means you have control. We have numbers one and five left. Where would you like to go? Let's go number one. All right. Your clue for number one is. Forcing a new story. Forcing a new story. So, Andres, how many notes you want to open with? Let's do uh, 15. 15. RB3? Um, I'm going to go. Let's. Uh, for some reason, Ace calling me. I like eight. All right. Right back to eight. Seven. Seven makes it worth 15 points. Six. Six. Five. Five. I'm going, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go four. Why not? See how that goes. All right. Three. Three. All right. All right. Since we're going this far, I might as well. I might as well just call it two. You know what I mean? Why not? Two still keeps it at 20 points. And settle the score. <laughs> settle the score on two notes. All right. <laughs> RB3, you do not have a lifeline, man. Okay. So your clue again was forcing a new story. Here mm-hmm. are your two notes. Harry Potter? Incorrect. Dang. Incorrect. <clears throat> but though it does have that kind of sound to it, given the... Mm. Yeah. So, Ace, you still have your double down. Or you can take it. It's worth 20 points. You're down by 35 right now. Can I Can I just hear it one more time before I decide? Sure. Mm-hmm. The, the two notes. No, I'm... I'm I'm taking my points. <laughs> okay. Taking your twenty points. Uh, Ace, I really thought you'd go for that, man. I really did. I really thought 
I, I was mean, going you, to, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I think maybe ah, oh, just like how I think you'd get it in three. Maybe I honestly think you would. You would have been yeah. so close to getting that. I'll just do, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought that was I was really going to be my guess. I was literally. Oh gonna no guess way! It's Ray Steve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I was oh. Gonna guess that. oh my God! It is Ray Steve. <laughs> I should have. I. That's really where my first heart went, and I was like, "No, nah, it's not that easy." Like, or not easy, but I thought it was Harry Potter because I don't know. It does have that Harry yeah. Potter yeah. vibe to it on those first two yeah. notes. That's yeah. John yeah. Lewis. Um, there's that kind of theme in Harry Potter, isn't there? The... Uh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I thought that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was. Yeah, piece of. Yeah, okay, nice. Wow, freak. All right, so it's a 15 point game with RB three in the lead. And we have one question left. So, Ace, you got the points on that, which means you'll be opening this last one. Nobody has any extra clues left. Mm -hmm. But, Ace, you do have your double down if it comes up. So, your final clue is trading places. Trading places places so ace basically you need to get this to seven under eight notes to tie the ball game okay so let's do seven then all right seven <laughs> going right to seven dang why not uh, but then so if i bring it lower than four then it's like somebody could uh, win you're right or you could just go ahead and be like well you could force him to settle a score, and then we go to sudden death, and Andy just plays his choice. I don't even know what it is. A score, mm -hmm. and it's between the two of you, and uh, whoever guesses it first wins. Right, right. So right. there is a sudden death thing if you want to play for that somehow. But right now, RB3, you're in the lead by 15 points. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to take it down to f five. Five notes, all right. Four. Four. Settle the score. Settle the score on four notes. All right, it's worth 15 points. This is to tie the ball game. To force a sudden uh, overtime. A sudden death overtime. <clears throat> and your clue again was trading places. Here are your four notes. <laughs> RB3 knows it. Ooh, I got to hear that again. Okay. Damn. You can hear it again if you want. Yes. <laughs> Man, this is tough. Your clue again was trading places. Is it? This is for all the marbles. This is it. This is a tie the ball game to get it to sudden. Uh, or I overtime. lose. Or you lose. This is everything. This is the most stoic I've ever seen Robert in my entire life. Mm. <laughs> I've never seen you so just solemn, quietly staring, politely. <laughs> See, my boy knows this. <laughs> do you know this, man? Really? I know, I know for sure, yeah. Really? Damn, dude. Yeah. How do I not know this? Uh... I might have to give up and just say, get out. Is it correct? Uh, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I put on my guess? Uh, go ahead. You're going to get the points no matter what because you can't yeah. double down again. So, okay. but what's your guess? Uh, Home Alone? Incorrect. Uh, oh, really? Incorrect. Oh, okay. How's off? Yeah, uh, yeah. Close again in terms of musicality. So, the, the, the one that I was playing these four notes 
it's like this E G. Um, Home Alone is just the reverse of that G E. So yeah, close. Definitely on the right, right lines. Um, I'll play a bit more. Yeah. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, What's this? Oh, the What's trading this? places. Uh, 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 yeah, trading places. He wants to swap. He wants to be Santa Claus. Right, right. I would Honestly. not have gotten it. <laughs> uh, but RB3 is today's big winner. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That was Thank a you. back and forth game. I thought we might have a chance to go to overtime. Um Oof. But uh, RB3 is today's big winner, man. The floor is yours to plug, promote, say whatever you like, but take it away. Hey, if you like if you like movies and if uh, you like good short films, if you like good music and movies, check out Timestamp. We got good. Um, it's a good film. And with a great score itself, uh, they ain't touching what Andy's bringing to the table here, but um, it's, you know, has, you know, it's, it's, it's getting its own right. So definitely stream Timestamp on Amazon Prime, um, buy it or rent it, and also subscribe to First Cut. And look, on your next project, if you're looking for someone to come up with the orchestrations and compositions, you got Andy right here. Yeah, Andy, yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, don't know if he'd be into it. I'm volunteering his services, but uh, <laughs> I think there's a chance. No, I've scored stuff before, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have someone awesome on your on your team, I'll be free. But yeah, anytime you're in a, you're, you're stuck, yeah, give me a call. Oh yeah, I might. I need that. I need that. I might need that UK twang. You know that British uh, <laughs> yeah, swag, UK twang. Yeah, no UK yeah, twang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's my DJ name. UK twang. UK twang. <laughs> uh, you book no gigs. I'll tell you that right now. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, UK twang. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, Ace, sir. Hell of a competition. Yeah, almost did it. I, I had faith. I thought you were going to get it in the end. But you made it a close game regardless. But uh, the floor is now yours. Say, plug, promote. Take it away. Uh, same thing. Check out Timestamp. Check out First Cut on YouTube. And First Cut on TikTok. And then I'll follow me on Squat Leader Ace. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, please please do First Cut. Uh, we've had now everybody from First Cut on. Maybe Ooh. we'll do a trifecta. We've done three three person shows oh, wow. before for our entire shows. Uh, nice. But yeah, it was awesome uh, having you guys, Andy. Um, yeah, really, really fun match. Um, RB three, you obviously got it in. You've got your music in the ear because you're, you're picking up like literally the key that stuff is in. Uh, just <laughs> sometimes just the wrong score. Um, yeah. And uh, Ace, I want to say, man, the the tactic in round three feels like you go as far away points wise from the person as possible almost like you're doing a run-up to your <laughs> knockout punch and that's how close you were that <laughs> final, if you'd have known that last song that's how close you were you just want to get that like i want to get as far away from you as possible and then boom like that but uh oh man that was close and you did it last time as well so yeah, yeah. i really like it i love that stuff i i really i think it was the gutsiest round three in terms of going down some notes next time you guys are on i'm not even going to bother learning the scores honestly <laughs> yeah just a couple <laughs> notes please yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Three notes. I only learned two for this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just make the third up. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a great game. It was a blast to hang out with you for an hour. And uh, I'll have all their social media and uh, links, plus link to uh, timestamp and uh, the first cut TMOs TikTok. It'll all be in the description below. So please go check those out. And you can follow Andy at STS underscore Andy M. You can follow me at Matt Nost. That is it for this week's Settle the Score. We'll see you guys next week with a new edition. Until then, stay safe out there. Adios.